In lesson 2e, we're going to explore the example how much do female gofflers earn. In this, we'll be calculating and using an exponential model. How much do female gofflers earn? The problem says a random sample of 14 golfers was selected from 147 players on the Ladies Professional Golf Association. The total amount of money won during each year in dollars and the average number of strokes above 70 for each player in the sample was recorded. Lower scoring averages are better in golf. So you can see that we have a list of each of the 14 golfers with their adjusted score and their earnings. In part A, we're asked to calculate an exponential model for these data using adjusted scoring average as the explanatory variable. So what we'd like to do first is open up the two quantitative variables applet that you have. In this applet, what you're going to do is fill in your explanatory variable along with the name, the adjusted scoring average, as we were told, the response variable along with the earnings. You're going to type in each of the values in consecutive order and make sure that the earnings pair up with each of those values. So you're doing everything in order. When typing the earnings, make sure you don't use a comma because if you do, they will think that that's a separate observation. After this, you're going to click on the begin analysis. A scatter plot will show up, and what you can also do is then calculate the regression model. Make sure you choose exponential because that's what we're asked to do here. When you hit calculate the regression model, up will come this box, and in that box we can now see that using this applet, the exponential model is y hat equals 1,479,696 times 0.405 raised to the x. That's what makes it an exponential model. In part B, it says sketch the scatter plot along with the exponential model. So you can use the applet for this as well. If not, what you would do is label and scale each axis. Your x-axis would be your explanatory variable. Your y-axis would be the earnings. I use the applet to make this. You can as well. You can see that the exponential model came up, and you can see how it fits the data points. Again, if you did this by hand, you would make your x-axis and scale it, your y-axis and scale it, and then plot your points. In part C, calculate and interpret the residual for Lorena, Lorena, the last golfer in the list. So if we look at our list, she's the last golfer right there, her adjusted scoring average, and her earnings over 1 million. So to calculate the residual, we need to know the predicted value from the model. So we're plugging in 0.16 for her adjusted scoring average. Her actual earnings was 1,626. And the residual is actual minus predicted. So when we subtract these two, we get $345,839 as a difference between what she actually earned and what she's predicted to earn. So what we can see from this is that she actually earned more than we expected. So the earnings for her were 345 1,839 greater than we expected based on this exponential model where we did use x as the adjusted scoring average. If you'd like to do another problem practicing with the exponential model, you can try exercise 5 in your text.